Congratulations. Thank I'm you. so excited. I know. So when is the due date? November. Escondido City Councilwoman Consuelo Martinez is making the rounds in a busy neighborhood park. It won't be hot then. It'll be nice. No, I just have to get through the whole summer. She chats with a young couple eating ice cream, then stops by a group gathered at picnic tables for a birthday party. She can't walk a few feet without running into someone yeah, she knows. I know. Talk about perfect timing. I'm like, I always run into people at the park. Yeah. And that's the point of council districts, really? to it's have fun. someone like Martinez represent her neighbors. Escondido used to elect its council members citywide. But in 2014, the city drew a district map and created one district that had a very slight majority of Latinos. Four years later, Martinez was elected in that district. But she wouldn't have run without district elections because campaigning citywide was too expensive. It would make it more accessible for an everyday person to run for office. So it would diversify the city leadership and it would allow uh, geographic representation so that not everyone lives in the same part of town but it would be spread out, the representatives would be spread out, and therefore you would have attention, hi, you would have attention um, being given throughout the city. In her first six months in office, Martinez moved city council meetings to 6 p.m. so working people can attend, and got a water treatment plant slated for her district moved to an industrial area. One of her constituents, Daisy Zavala, says Martinez makes her feel like she's being heard. Now that there's someone in office that like understands like the struggle of like um, being born a minority and like being raised as a minority, like I feel like she just has like a better input. Before Escondido had council districts, there was one Latina on the city council and three white men. Now there are two Latinas and a Democratic majority. But in other cities, switching to district elections hasn't increased diversity. KPBS did an analysis that found five of the 10 cities that switched to district elections and have had elections have not seen increased diversity. Three of those councils are all white. Another four cities have boosted their Latino representation. And Carlsbad now has one non-white representative. For district elections to increase diversity, you need certain criteria, including that the city actually draws districts that have a significant minority population. That's according to Douglas Johnson, the president of National Demographics Corporation, which helps cities draw district maps. It actually needs to be, yes, diverse, but a pocket. It has to be kind of geographically concentrated. And even if you have districts and minority candidates run, you still then have to win the election. That means you need a viable minority candidate. Johnson says Modesto finally drew districts after a long legal battle. And no Latina ran. Well, one ran, but he was just out of the Navy, and he, <laughs> he had a MySpace page that was half why I love Sandra Bullock movies and half why I'm running for city council. We're over 50% Hispanic in Escondido now. What type of businesses are you going to get? Ed Gallo stands in a busy shopping center in Escondido that's filled with Mexican restaurants and a market catering to Latinos. This used to be his district. He lost last year to Consuelo Martinez. But he says other minority candidates, such as Councilwoman Olga Diaz, were able to win seats in citywide votes. How did that happen? I can tell you how it happened. She worked hard, again, because that's what it takes. And she raised some, some money and that's, that's what it takes to get elected. He worries having council members represent individual districts means they won't be looking out for the good of the city. You're involved in the entire city and every decision you make doesn't just involve people in your district, it involves everybody in the city. Hi. Making sure that uh, the east part of Escondido is not forgotten was very, is very, is still very important to me. Consuelo Martinez says her role is to look out specifically for her district. She says before she was elected, no one was doing that. People would say, you're the first person who's ever knocked on my door to ask for my vote. And that was really sad to me. Because some of them had been living in the city for 25 years. She's working to make sure she's visible in her district now, well before her next election in four years. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.